seasonal winds are kicking in. Time sure flies. But I still can't believe Mila's being discharged today. I bet the doc was floored by her rapid recovery. Heck if I know. Dad and I barely talk. Mila will be along as soon as she's ready. Care to explain this? What's that? A wanted poster? From honor student to fugitive, huh? It's not like it affects you. What did you do? The poster makes it sound like you stole something. Stole? That thing Mila gave to Ivor, was that it? Speak properly, young man. Uh, forget it. So now what? You gonna yell at Mila for corrupting me? You haven't exactly been nice to her. Jude, Jude. You're so naive. You still don't know what she is. She's finally out. I'm fine. Ah, I've missed the fresh air. How about taking a little walk? Good idea. Let's stroll to the Sea Haven. We'll take it slow. She never stops moving forward under her own power, no matter what happens. Do you know why, Jude? What's this? No. Why now, after all this time?
Hey, Jude, remember when we used to play hide-and-seek here? <laughs> Dad would always get so mad at us. deal with that wanted poster it has something to do with Fenmont right that's where you met Mila she's trying to destroy a secret Roshigal military weapon it uses something called a Spyrex she swears it's her mission to save the world from those things a Spyrex huh Slap me some face! Ah! What in my world? Elise, what are you doing here? Well, we came to see you. We wanted to congratulate you on your recovery. But we never expected a miracle. Nice to see you on your feet. It's all thanks to Jude and Leia. Rowan! It has been a while, Jude. And a pleasure to meet you, young lady. My name is Rowan. Oh, uh... Hello. So this is the device responsible for your miraculous recovery. In Asperixis, you call it? Fast. Will you be sticking around for a while? Lady Drissel insisted that I take a vacation. And Miss Elise was most persistent in her desire to see Mila. Don't blame us, Butler! You're the one who's been getting sloppy on the job lately! That's not like you. It's true. This old butler has been quite distracted as of late. Indeed. One concern in particular is at the forefront of my mind. I see. I wish we had more time to listen to the whole story, but... Mila and I are planning to leave Laurent as soon as possible. Probably tomorrow. I don't remember saying that. I know you well enough by now. <sighs> but you are still recovering. What could be so important in Fenmont that you must leave at once? 
a weapon they call the Lance of Kresnik. As long as it endures, mankind and spirit kind are doomed to extinction. Who built it? The King of Rashigal? You cannot reach Fenmont without once again heading for Fort Gondala. Things ended badly for you the last time you visited that place, if you'll recall. Are you not afraid? No. I fear nothing in this world. Except that one day, I may lose the willpower to complete my mission. Why is this mission so gosh darn important to you? Because I am Maxwell. It is my duty to protect this world. Maxwell, you say? The spirit? Mila's a spirit? Is it true? What? But that doesn't matter, does it? It's not gonna change who we know her as. Come on, everyone. No use standing around talking. Let's go back inside. Sounds like a plan. Medicine, biology, history, literature. There are some fascinating books here. Never realized you like to read so much. Humans like to record all sorts of things about the world, about others, about themselves. There's no better way to learn about the human realm. So it's your main source of information. I always thought that the Lord of Spirits had the power to just know everything. The concept of an omniscient deity is a common notion. Humans long for beings of absolute power. So much so that at times, they'll even sacrifice their lives for the mere idea of one. Never mind that humans only imagined such perfect beings to make up for their own imperfections. You may be right. At least, that's what I read in a book. Now, this handwritten book looks very intriguing. Jude Mathis. Developmental Diary. Wait, what? Hmm. For some reason, it's been placed right next to Bedwetting Causes and Cures. C come on, Mila. We don't have time for reading. We've got a world to save. Are you all set? Yeah, believe it or not. To be honest, I'm still in shock that you're leaving. You could have given us a little more warning. Sorry. It's your decision, honey. What about Dad? Still fuming. I see. 
Well, I'm eager to get going. Shall we be off? Huh? We've still got some time until the boat departs. True, but Elise and Rowan came all the way here to wish me well. It would be rude not to bid them goodbye before leaving. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Morning. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. Sorry about that. Are you certain this is a good idea? Yes. I have a responsibility to my mission. To the world. And you wish to remain true to that burden? You are such a strong, proud woman. Seeing your determination, it reopens some old wounds. What do you mean? Lord Klein tasked me with saving this country. His dying words have weighed heavily on my mind lately. Am I even capable of such a task? Can I put a stop to Noctigal's schemes? Back at Fort Gondala, it seemed like he knew you. He is a friend of mine. One of... So that's the source of your concern. Whether you can fight against a friend or not. No way! If he was a real friend, you wouldn't fight him! Spreading over it won't strengthen your resolve. Only willpower can do that. For now, will you come with us? I'm sorry? You could still grapple with these issues if you like, but a human life is short. Time is of the essence. You might as well keep moving forward while you worry. Hesitation is a common human failing, after all. Why not come along, Rowan? I'd feel safer with you around anyway. <laughs> Your words ring true. Caving to worry and doubt would only waste my time. And this old man is not growing any younger. Does that mean... Yes. Please allow me to accompany you. I'll come too. Sorry, Elise. You should head back home to Drissel. Miss Elise, I need you to give the young mistress a message. Tell her that I have headed to Fenmont. But... Hmm? I will ask an acquaintance of mine in Sapstrath Seahaven to escort Elise home. But Elise is heading back to Sherilton, right? Won't we be heading in the same direction? I have an idea. Would you allow me to handle this matter? Sure. Let's stick together until we have to board the ship. Okay. And here I thought we were super pals, Jude. Guess not. Where'd Leia go? 
I really wanted to talk to her. Well, hello there. Good day, Master Sonia. Is Leia around? No, I haven't seen her all day. She hasn't even done her chores. She'll be home before dinner? She won't want to miss my cooking. I see. It's unfortunate that we missed her. Yeah. Master Sonia, Mila and I are leaving on another journey. Please tell Leia goodbye for us. Is that right? Well, don't worry. I'll tell her. You go on and have a safe trip. Thank you. She's gonna get so depressed again with you gone. And then you'll see her getting depressed and get even more depressed yourself. Well, come on. Don't you feel sorry for her? I feel sorry for the poor woman who's stuck with a bunch of weaklings for a husband and daughter. And that would be me. I see your tongue is still as sharp as your fist is strong. Isn't that what you love about me? And yet I can't help but hope that Leia grows up to take after me. I wonder why. What did you just say? Interesting. This must be what they call a domestic spat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is how they express their love for each other. Not so different from your own family, huh, Jude? Don't forget to write them sometimes, okay? And send a letter to Leia while you're at it. Uh, sure. Where's Leia? I wanted to thank her. This ship is bound for Ajul. Is this part of the plan you mentioned? It is. If you hatch this plan, then we know it will work. You're not going to make amends with your father? What's the point, Mom? We're minutes from leaving. Your father is just worried about you, honey. Please understand that. I hate to impose, but would you look after this young lady for a few days? Someone from Sapstrath Seahaven will be coming to pick her up. Can you watch her until then? Oh, she's adorable. Yes, of course. I'll take good care of her. emotional growth and stuff and things! Jude! Dad, I've made up my mind. I'm going with Mila. You're not going anywhere with that woman. The things she's gotten you involved with. Looky here. I just can't get rid of you people, can I? Alvin? My new job didn't really pan out. 
You know, I still haven't worked off all the money I got last time, so I guess you're stuck with me. You're coming with us? You, you know this man? Yeah, we're old traveling buddies. Elvin, can you believe these meanies are abandoning us? You poor little spud. You can fight just as well as they can. Come on, let's bring the kid and her toy along. It'll be just like old times. But Alvin... Don't worry, I'll protect her if things get dicey. Come on, Rowan. You're stuck with us, Butler! <laughs> Last call for boarding! The ship will be departing momentarily! If we can't pry Tipo off, I guess they have to come. Well then, what are you waiting for? Hurry aboard! Yay! It seems I am no match for you. And now you two. Right. Yeah. I better get aboard. Jude! Dad. Don't you have something to say to your parents? Goodbye. Remember, taking responsibility for your actions is part of becoming an adult. This tub's bound for Lakutum Sea Haven? I thought you were heading for Fenmont. You're asking this now? You really do go with the flow, huh? Like, literally. I couldn't care less where we wind up. I'm only here to look after Miss Elise. And me, me, me! The man's back together! You're not exactly part of the bargain. Rowan, please tell us your plan for taking us to Aju. Very well. I believe trying to force our way through Fort Gondala now would be a suicide mission, to put it bluntly. I saw the fortress's security columns being activated as we were escaping, right after Mila was injured. And those are... They're weapons made by humans using Earth Spirits. It would take an entire division of soldiers to defeat those automata, and only if they had a clever strategy. But the sea routes to Fenmon are still closed, so if we're heading to Ajul... You mean to cross from Ajul to Fenmont over land? <laughs> That's quite a hike. What do we do about Fezabel Marsh? Oh yeah, that's true. That swamp apparently stretches forever north of Fenmont. It's supposed to be the natural equivalent of Fort Gondala in terms of fortification. Isn't that marsh impossible to cross? Something about the spirit climb being too severe? Most of the time. But the interseasonal winds have blown, which means that Solemn is upon us. That means the spirit climb has shifted from Ephrita to Renom. Fezabel Marsh should be passable, for now anyway. If you say so. I'm not sure I understand either. Uh, in other words... We're good to go if we hustle through the marshes, right? Exactly. In any case, hustling is the order of the day. It seems we have little time left. Why? What's gonna happen? I have received word that even after you left Sheraton, the Golems and Fort Gondala remain activated. 
This does not bode well for us. It's a clear sign that Rashagal is readying for open war. With who? With Azul? Why would they want to do that? I must destroy the Lance of Kresnik before it can be used in battle. <laughs> What's wrong? There's a person in there! Huh? Friend of yours? <laughs> yeah, a real barrel of fun. Uh, uh, I got so bored waiting in there, I must have fallen asleep. Then you'll be well rested for the return trip home. Return trip? I'm coming with you! This isn't a game. I know. Right? Who are you? This is Alvin! Our little buddy! Pleasure to meet you. I'm Leia. Pleasure to meet you too, little buddy. Little buddy? It's okay, right, Mila? I can come along? Hmm. Perhaps. Why do you want to? Wait, seriously? Your strength really inspired me back at the mine. I thought to myself, I want to be just like you. Hmm. Well? Is that it? I thought you might say that. Hold on. What is that? I filled the scrap of paper with all kinds of reasons. Take a look. Reasons why you should come with us? Yep, at least a hundred. <laughs> very well. You can come with us. I like you. You're so very... human. You've got to be kidding. Okay, now that it's all official. I'm happy to join. Thanks for asking. Leia, you can't just sneak onto a ship. That's against the law. Oh, really, Mr. Rashigal's most wanted? She does have you there. Oh, don't worry. I gave the sailors free coupons to my family's lodge in exchange for my passage. By the way, how were you able to figure out that we were headed to Lakutum Sea Haven? <laughs> Funny story. I got on a ship that I assumed was going to Sapstrath, but it turned out to be Lakutum bound. Wait, so you got on the wrong ship and found us purely by chance? Dumb luck is truly a frightful thing. 